So today we're going to pick up our new Airstream and I thought it'd be a good idea to do a quick video telling you guys what you might need to be ready when you pick up your Airstream. Obviously everybody is going to pick up theirs in different conditions. Some are going to need tires, some are going to need um, more body work and need towed away. Some are just going to need the running lights checked. Ours definitely needs tires that we know of. We don't know about the lights and we're not quite sure about the connection, the power connection and the hitch situation. So we're going to go find out and we'll go over some tips about what you might need to bring with you to be prepared when you pick up your airstream. things I can recommend is that if it's possible you should go see your Airstream before you're gonna be picking it up so that you can make a list of all the stuff you're gonna need to bring back with you um, that's how we found out that ours needed the tires and obviously we needed to order those in advance and we also found out that we needed to get a different type of connector to connect the power from the trailer to the truck so if you can go see it before um, you actually make plans to pick it up, that's the best option. Obviously not everybody has that opportunity, especially if you're buying out of state, in which case I would plead with whoever you're buying it from to give you a comprehensive list and a video tour so that you have a better idea. But we were able to go see ours before going to pick it up, so we were able to be better prepared to know what we needed to bring. Bought an adapter to go from our fin to our plug. And let's see if that works. And this will tell us if we have power to our running lights, brake lights, reverse lights, so on and so forth. So let's uh, do a little test. Let's see what we got. Okay, so, so far we have no lights. You have one light back there? So we probably need bulbs. Well, we know we've got power of some kind, so we're thinking it's the bulbs. I'm gonna take some of these bulbs out and put them over there and see if it's the bulbs or if it's the wiring. So we're basically gonna need all new bulbs. Our tongue jack is broken, doesn't seem to wanna go up take the weight up so I'm just gonna do it with uh, the truck jack get it on there get the weight off of it and then, uh, so that we can we get it we'll, up on the we'll replace it hitch. ASAP since we're having problems with the jack we've got to get it completely removed so that we can lower the airstream back onto the hitch ball ball hitch hitch ball ball hitch Which trailer hitch it? trailer hitch so we got the jack out and now we're gonna slowly hook the camper up. Sometimes, like with our last two Airstreams, you're able to air up the tires enough to get it home or get it to your trailer shop. And the problem this time is we've got about a two and a half hour drive and we've got a tire here, as you can see, that just is not gonna make the ride. So, the plan is that we are going to take two off at a time, which I'll have Marlon explain to you how he's gonna do it. And we're gonna run down to Walmart and swap out. We've already ordered new tires. We're gonna take these rims down there and get our new tires put on the rims. In the back, two tires off. One from each side. One from each side. And we're taking those to get the new tires. I have never seen lug nuts that were lug bolts, so this is new for me. Who knew? Has your quirks. Tell everyone why you're. Uh... <laughs> this is what happens when you run over your four way lug wrench with the mower. Yeah. It was rough. It's rough. So frustrating. So we bought the tires from Walmart. We had had an appointment with Walmart and then we canceled it because we weren't sure what time we were gonna get into town. So we went to Walmart today. They told us we didn't need an appointment just to put the tires on the rims. So we went into Walmart today to pay for the tires and get them put on the rims and they said they couldn't fit us in today and that we would need to come back tomorrow. Except that I don't live here so I'm not gonna wait and come back tomorrow. 
So luckily the person we're buying the Airstream from knows a car dealer across the street. And so we're over here getting the tires put on right now. So drama, drama, drama. We're back with the first set of tires. So we're gonna put these on and then take the other two in and be one step closer to being ready to go. All right, second to last tire. So glad I have a husband who does this and I don't have to pay somebody to do it. Well, Archimedes has his new shoes. We're gonna tighten these up, check the lights, and we will be on our way. Next up, swap out these bulbs for new ones, and hopefully we'll have our running lights and our brakes. And then the last thing we need to do is test everything out and lock up the inside and we'll be on our way. So Archie's got his new tires and we are ready to start heading home. Obviously, we're gonna make a couple stops, check the bearings, check everything out, make sure we're doing good, but we're ready to get out of here. So here's the deal. This house sits on a really steep incline. Luckily, they said the neighbor's house has been vacant for years. So we're gonna attempt to go through the yard and at an angle so that we don't have to go so hard down this hill. I'm not convinced. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully nobody's here at this house and they don't try to sue me. Well, looks like you did it. All right. Last and not least, one of the most important things you can do on the drive home is pull over a couple times, check your bearings, check your tires. We just happened to look out the window and notice that the door was wide open. So we've pulled over to take care of that. 